Rampage, you know, as we're shifting to there, we got Rampage Rundown. Crayfish will be back for Rampage Rundown. I'm gonna we're switching to spots this week. <laughs> so we got Rampage Rundown. I can see if I can play this. So we got CM Punk versus Daniel Garcia, which was great. CM Punk back in the ring. We're going to with a you know, young get some guy. more be matches. Awesome. Sky Blue, which we saw her get so over at All Out versus Jay Cargill. And we got the Philly Street Fight with Machine Brian Cage and Ricky Starks. And the Lucha Brothers, the tag team champions versus the Acclaimed right there. Yes. And, you know, quickly, I didn't realize the Acclaimed were going to be rising that to the top like that. And so they are the, the number one overall tag team right now so of which this is the first rampage um we are getting four matches plus i think now they're really starting to stack the card i mean this card to me is excellent and oh yeah four great matches um you know sky blue it was a lot of fun when we were there at rampage the fans were so over for her and I'm tony telling. khan comes out it was a cool special moment tony comes out khan comes out he's like how would you like to be in the battle royal and she was like freaking out and you know they were they were cheering her way more than red velvet because she's going against <laughs> red velvet but of these four matches uh which one are you looking forward to the most i mean it, it's a tough one yeah there's not really a bad choice but i will say that i'm i'm probably most excited about the tag match okay. um i love the acclaimed i'm like everybody else i love the acclaimed and uh Exactly. Throw them up, everyone. <laughs> exactly. Throw them all up. And you guys all know. You guys are all doing it. Uh, and the Lucha Bros, man, like, Oof. you can't beat that. You can't beat having, like, the acclaimed who are, who are genuinely um, probably the most entertaining tag team around right now with, you know, their pre-match stuff. And, like, oh, yeah. I'm not even talking in the ring. Just their, their personas are so entertaining and interesting. Um, I love those guys. Uh, and then you got, you know, the Lucha Brothers, who are two of the best, you know, tag team wrestlers in the world, the champions. Mm-hmm. And man, like, what a banger! Like, I, I would want to see that on a pay per view. I want to see the acclaimed versus these guys on pay per view. Yeah. Like, this is another free TV, like, rampage show on a match with or on a on a card with four big matches. Um, man, I, I'm excited for all of them, but that's probably the one I'm looking forward to the most. What about you? Yeah, I mean, I definitely agree with you. The, those are two teams I'm, I really love. Yeah. Uh, especially I, I've always been a huge Lucha Brothers mark and I will embrace that. I will take that to the grave on that. I love yeah. the Lucha Brothers. And so they, they deserve they marks. They're really match. good. <laughs> yeah. They do not uh, put on a bad match at all. No. And, you know, at first I was not a, a claim fan, but they quickly won over, especially with Crayfish as an influence, man, that guy can, that guy is a good salesman. I could tell you that, yeah. man. He could sell a ketchup popsicle to a woman in white gloves. That's for sure. <laughs> um, but the I'm, I'm more intrigued how overall match, that tag match for sure, but I'm really intrigued how this Cage yeah. and Starks street fight is going to go. You know, is it going to be another one of those <laughs> where Ricky Starks is a coward and he has Hook and Powerhouse Hobbs kind of attack him because essentially it's a no DQ, anything goes. Yeah. Um, and then they just kind of put them down again, you know, how this one's going to play out. So I'm intrigued story for that. Um, and then for pure wrestling, definitely the, uh, Lucha brothers. And it's hard, it's crazy to say that with, the, with CM Punk on the card. Right. I mean, I, I think we're all excited about Punk versus Garcia. It's just a different kind of vibe in that match. You know, sure. Daniel Garcia yeah. is, you know, a young early twenties guy just breaking in. Uh, he's been absolutely awesome on the mic and his ring stuff's been great too, but sure. I think this is going to be a different vibe match. This is a showcase for him with CM Punk. You know, yep. we're obviously getting eyes with, with CM Punk coming in for Garcia. We're going to show this kid off. And I I'm excited about that match in that regard. I, I'm excited for him because it's a big stage. It'll be the biggest stage of his career. Um, and that's awesome. And I'm, I'm yeah. super stoked for him. And I think that he's going to put on an absolute banger because that's what he does. He has good matches. That's why he's in the position he's in. Yeah. They, they they recognize it, you know. They see like this kid's young, he's ready to go, and you know we're gonna we're gonna kind of put him in the deep end here and see if he can swim. Right. And uh, they they they're not afraid. One, one thing I appreciate about Tony Khan is that he's not afraid to kind of push his wrestlers in the deep end like that and see if who see who's gonna be the the guy there. You know, if, imagine if he didn't go in on 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 Darby Allen, if he didn't go in on him like that, mm-hmm. we wouldn't have the great character we have or MJF. You know, all these guys or or Jungle Boy. You know, all mm-hmm. these young you know mid early to mid twenties you know wrestlers that look absolutely fantastic. You know, Britt Baker's another one where you know Britt 
um, easily could have not been given the time she was given. And, you know, and she looks like she's the biggest star in the company right now. So it's, it's nuts, man. Like they're doing such a good job building up this young talent, this young roster. And, yep. and I'm stoked for Garcia in this regard. I'm, I'm so excited about this match, but again, all of these matches I'm excited for, we, we got to see sky blue and make your AEW debut. Um, and that was really cool because you know, that, that crowd was really hot for that match. Uh, they give her one it of the was. biggest pops of the night. That Chicago crowd was awesome. But I'm I'm with you with Cage and Starks because I want to see if we start seeing a bit of a push for one of these guys. Um, they've kind of been feuding with each other for a long time, the better part of a year now. And right. I, I'm curious to see, you know, hey, or, or is Brian Cage going to get a push? Is, is Ricky Starks going to get pushed more than, you know, this just FTW belt? Uh, is he going to get in the ring more? I know he's been doing commentary as well. So, you know, hopefully his neck's all the way healed, ready right. to go, and he can kind of get back on a full schedule. Um, but, man, this Rampage card is going to be a lot of fun. I agree. And and uh, we just saw that uh, in the chat that Lori, you know, we love you, Lori, that AEW announced that Bobby Fish is all elite. And so that Good is stuff. breaking news, hot off the press. That is well deserved, uh, as we talked about earlier in the show. I think this is a huge addition. Um, you know, I think he could have a nice singles run for a while, and then uh, you know, get a tag partner or you know, join a faction or or something hey, like bro, that. He was in the undisputed era, man. So we'll see. I He's know. got history with a lot of guys on this roster. So I love it. 